Okay, I'm here at Lithgow's booth. I did not know they were going to be at SHOT Show. I looked for them and I didn't find them and then I turned the corner and here they are. So he's been on video plenty of times. So uh, here we go. We have two samples here. So could you give us a little rundown on what we got going on? So, um, as many of you guys are already aware, this is the new Australian F90, also known as Atrax for the U.S. market. Uh, this one here, the 20 inch is what they're getting issued. Uh, this one on the front is a 16 inch, inch model. Um, and then we actually, it's not here yet, but we'll be doing a 14 and a 14.17 inch barrel. It will be our CQB model. So we'll have our, exactly, so we're going to have our CQB, our carby, and our, and our, and our rifle. So full line. Models. Yeah, full line. And you'll, and eventually you'll have, uh, have full uh, kits for that? Different calibers. And different too. calibers? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's going to, that's going to be different. So this is the only rifle in the world where it's toolless caliber change, because that's your chamber right there. You see that? Chamber. So you can just switch from your 556 to your 300 blackout yeah. and without you, any tools, no screws, no, no torque wrenches, nothing. It's instant. Also, because the barrel is indexed on these flutes here that attaches all the side panels and the rails, whatever accessories that you have on your barrel housing group, your optics, your lasers, will, will zero and you guys made a crap load of cuts and you went away from the full aluminum yes. receiver so um, the Australian military wanted it lighter and more modular so that gone is the aluminum cast receiver replaced by this innovative method of attaching the side rails that's actually one of our main, our main IPs on this rifle and fluting actually helped with heat dissipation absolutely even though everyone's like oh it's too thin and there you have actual threading so you can put on a bayonet lug. Yeah, so the bayonet lug is only available on the 20 inch model. The 16 and the CQB model. You can't do it. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's too short. Yeah. So uh, even on, when you get a Steyr, you know, a, 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 the uh, Steyr arms version, it's 16 inches. You're not going to be able to attach one. It won't, it won't yeah. work. Yeah. So you've got an interesting flash hider on these. Uh, so, it's so an these interesting are actually, texture. Yeah. I mean, Shot a lot of these, um, well, both these rifles in full auto with the silencer color cans, and um, so that's just build up. I couldn't get that off. I, I've tried every <laughs> solvent, and uh, this is as clean as I can get. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so we shot these a lot. So both rifles have about 15,000 rounds full auto, mostly full auto. Um, the production versions will have half by 28 thread, so you can put on any muzzle device that you want. They are compatible. They are compatible. How about the uh, bolt carrier system? Is that pretty much the same, or did you do a, a slight modification of the uh, the bolt carrier? So the Australian military bought the um, STG 77, or the AEG as we know it, back in 1988. Since then, there's been numerous improvements on the rifle. So there's actually no backward compatibility with Steyr's parts. Um, the TDPs are totally different now. Um, the Australians have improved the TDP so many times that now when you compare the two, they, they don't match up. So um, there's tons of little things that I can go into, go into detail about, but I can tell you that you don't want to use Steyr parts on the yeah, even the takedown is a little different. You can see the butt plate is even different. And this was actually a little hard to take apart. I don't know how uh, uh, how often that'll happen, but you know, uh, that's just uh, you know my experience with that. But of course, these are dealer models, and so you have the little feature on the trigger here, as you guys well know. I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of Lithgow videos, and this poor guy's been on camera so much, so he already knows the drill. But you know, I don't think this is gonna come with uh, with this little drop pin for semi-auto only. But is the trigger actually gonna have a different sensation? Because full auto is gonna bring it back a little more, and it'll be a little. So different. I think I talked about it before, but the older models actually had green, OD green plastic trigger components. Now they have black trigger components. And the really funny thing is we didn't actually expect this, but the black one is actually a lot more smooth. There's more lubricity in the material compared to the green one. So we saw immediate improvement of the trigger feel there. And number 
number two is when we designed our semi-auto trigger pack, uh, we noticed that it's actually much lighter than the full auto too. So stock, it's probably one of the best bullpup triggers, you know, mil spec bullpup triggers you'll find. But we're working with a different company to make aftermarket triggers too. So it'll be pretty much ready when you guys come yeah. out. So when can they expect these these babies to be available? So the good news is that we just got all our ATF import regulations and permits all in line. The next step is to produce components in the US and also in Australia and um, start assembling these here. But after assembly, obviously, we have to test the parts and we have to test fire you know, the firearms as well too. So um, right now we're at the first article inspection part where we're measuring all the components, making sure everything's okay. And then uh, we'll go forward with the production and assembly. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys about a year to do all this because a lot of people want to say two months. And that's what they do for their SHOT Show YouTube videos, but get people excited. But I'm gonna give you guys leeway for about a year because you wanna do things right. Oh, yeah. And if something comes up, I will give you a lot of leeway because you are I know that you're taking care of it. And when these things come out, they're ready to go. Oh yeah, I mean, the, the design is extremely, let's say, um, more rugged and yeah, ready to go. Yeah, I mean, the design is, is, is proven. It's a very proven design. And there's a little bit of a change to the gas selector. I've uh, changed my gas settings a couple times after firing. I never got burned um, because I mostly use fingernail on that. <laughs> and I grabbed it really fast, but usually I leave it on full open anyway, yeah. so you know, it's not that big of a deal. You can just use it use around. Yeah. around. Yeah, just use around. But uh, don't want to do that in the middle of a firefight. No. Yeah. All right. Well, that's the Lithgow Arms. Glad that they actually were at Shot Show. One of my uh, one of the companies on my hit list. So uh, thanks a lot for you know running us through this. You're